What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Glitcher Bro23 here, back with another reaction. Today we got R.A. the Rugged Man once again, the big snatch from the All My Heroes Are Dead album. Um, not too sure, let me make sure there isn't no feature on this one. Let me make sure, let me make sure... Nah man, Rugged Man's just by himself on this one, man. It seems like y'all guys really, the R.A. fans really love the Legends Never Die album, and then this is probably their second favorite, and this is the more recent drop, you know? So, but hey, man, y'all know what to do by this point. Y'all want more Rugged Man? Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Share your thoughts and opinions about the track and the album, or my reaction by the end of the video. Uh, let me share this one more Rugged Man fans. Trying to hit the 1K mark before the end of the year, so share this with more people. Really appreciate all the love and support y'all show on these videos. Other than that, we're gonna just check this out, man. I've been waiting to re react to the react all day, man. So it was just a busy day. Hope everyone had a great Labor Day. Let's get it though. People say like you know you got a daughter now and a son, and don't you want to make you know music that could help people and change the world? And I said you know that's what I, I'm going to dedicate my life to that now. You know that's why I got to make records like this. I've warned you about women. They're just going to make you unhappy and and ruin your life. life. Hey. Did he say something similar on the track that he dedicated to his daughter? He said something very similar, like, on the track where he actually did it, like, it was a message to his daughter. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of artists are very, like, get judged by the way they either raise their kids or they behave around their kids, how they let their kids act, or just the music that they make now that they have kids. And it's like, bro... They're a rapper. Like, it, yes, yes, they're going to say some things that are not good for kids to hear or, like, they say things that, like, kids, like, shouldn't say, you know? Or shouldn't grow up listening to. But, I mean, he's a, these are rappers. This is their job. Like, Rugged Man's just not going to cuss or say something fucked up because he has a kid? No. No. That's with any rapper. Let's have some music. What would any girl want you for? Face facts, son. You're not good looking. You're fat. You're fat. You're fat. Even as a little boy, nobody likes you. My dick is a biblical plague, spitting frogs and locusts. I'm like super califragile, fucking bitch, suck on my roast dick. My cock's deadly, that's the medical <laughs> prognosis. Doctors can use my semen as bug spray to kill roaches. Up in the world. Ooh. What is this? What is this beat? What is this beat? Hey, that's probably. That's probably the most lighthearted beat, or no, not lighthearted, but that's probably the most bizarre beat I've ever heard R.A. on. But you, man, I really gotta stop react. R.A. really got to be the stop, stop being the first person I react to. Like, I, I would react to him, but he can't be the first person I react to for the day. Come on, man. I get set up every time I do an R.A. Re reaction. Because the dude always gives me headaches. Besides Tech 9, this dude is the only person to always give me headaches. Every time. For Califragile, fucking bitch, suck on my roast stick. My cock's deadly, that's the medical prognosis. Doctors could use my semen as bug spray to kill roaches. I've been the world's grossest since holding old throat hits with more ferocious explosions than rolling with golden globus. I explode noses, the backhand break faces. All you pussy millennials better hide in your safe spaces. I'm an anarchist, bitch. I live for pandemonium. I urinate oh so my God. I'm an anarchist. I live for pandano pandemonium. Pandemonium. That's the word. But he said, "All you, are you, all you like new generation kids, y'all just better back up. Like just, just go, go to your safe space or whatever." He said, "You know, he he said, I'm coming in with the big guns. That's what this album cover is, man. Come on, come on, man." He said, fuck this new generation of pussies. That's basically what he said. 
He said, fuck Gen Z. The backhand break faces. All you pussy millennials better hide in your safe spaces. I'm an anarchist bitch. I live for pandemonium. I urinate so furic acid and I shit plutonium. Sing to the chick, tricking the trick. I'm fingering it, licking the clit, giving it a fit. Hit it with a brick, stick it with the dick. I'm slicking it lit. Go. The dirty dick derelict. Foul mouth rhetoric. Welcome to my world, bitch. Every chick that I stick, the bottom of the slime pit. Welcome to my world, bitch. The big titty snorkeler, the pimp pussy auctioner. Welcome to my world, bitch. The big titty snorkeler, the. <laughs> what was that? I followed that? The auctioner. Welcome to my world, bitch. It's welcome to my world, bitch. The big titty snorkeler, the pimp pussy auctioner. Welcome to my. The big titty snorkeler, the pit. Big, hold on, hold on. Ah, it went over my head again. Big titty snorkeler. Come to my world, bitch. The big titty snorkeler, the pimp pussy auctioner. Pimp pussy auction. <laughs> oh my god. Only RA could think of something that bizarre. You know, I'm not gonna lie though, that's, a, <laughs> that's kind of. On this beat, that sounds su like such an ugly hook. That really does. I hate to say it, but on this beat, it sounds like such an ugly hook. Because this is like... It, it just doesn't match, I don't think. I, I don't think... Um, R.A. fits on this type of beat. You know, it's kind of... it's kind It sounds very, like, goofy in a way. And R.A. RA really is a do goofy dude. Um, he's had some bizarre music videos in the past, you know. But, I mean, just... I don't know this type of beat specific. This beat, this instrumental specifically, I don't really think already fits. I still fuck with him lyrically. I like basically what he's saying so far, with just saying just saying some stuff that will basically offend the new generation, and basically you just don't hear it anymore. You know, you don't hear this kind of content anymore from artists at all. You know, and that's basically what the concept of this whole "All My Heroes Are Dead." album is he's trying to still keep the uh, keep the old generation of hip hop going with this album you know he's trying to he's trying to take it back to what hip hop used to be with this album and old heads would love the hell out of this album and what he's done with this project so far you know Legends Never Die was a more personal project for him I think a lot more people can relate to the stuff being said on Legends Never Die but I mean, with R.A. doing the All My Heroes Are Dead album, this is for hip hop. This album is for hip hop. Welcome to my world, bitch. bitch. Thumbs up, Henry Winkler, the sick clip tingler. Welcome to my world, bitch. Please go away. Please, 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 please go away. One day a fine as wine, high class dime had appeared. She said she was an actress looking to start a career. So then I lied and told her that I was Lars Von Trier. Now get your ass in here and have a beer. I grabbed the rear. I started rapping in her ear and told her I was slug from atmosphere. And when I said that, she swung for my dick like a chandelier. She had a longer <laughs> vagina wall than the Great China Wall. <laughs> Oh my god. She had a longer Putinanny wall than the China wall. Oh my god. I I've heard it all. Oh. And then he said she was hanging from his, you know, like a chandelier. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, please tell me. Please tell me we still recording. Oh, that's... Oh, that's funny right there. Oh, man. What does that mean, though? What does the whole wall, wall concept mean? Like, a woman's wall. What does that mean? I'm 17, y'all. I'm 17. I'm 17, so I don't know any of this stuff yet. Alright? Somebody please let me know. But that line was just funny as fuck.
All I clean the dirty pussy with a washcloth and lice All the fish was more enormous than the great white whale orca If the Statue of Liberty had a pussy, it'd be smaller It was the giant mother of all twats Her pussy lips looked like the blankets they used to give Indian smallpox I sucked oh. on the slime's tits, started giving the twat licks But the pussy was more hairier than Chewbacca's armpits And STD came to get me riding on a jet ski When she squirted, it's like the water parted in the Red Sea The lyrics might sound... When she squirted, it's like the water departed with the Red Sea. What? Oh, this dude's insane. This dude's a menace. He needs to be stopped. <laughs> DD came to get me riding on a jet ski When she squirted it's like the water parted in the Red Sea The lyrics might sound misogynist But the crabs inside a vagina were stage diving and jumping in mosh pits More insects than flypaper Pussy size of a skyscraper She uses NASA space rockets as a vibrator That's my oh word my The click was the Oh my god She needs to be stopped <laughs> He said they used the Na she uses the NASA rocket spaceship as a vi man. All right, that man that get that gave me flashbacks to when I did a Harry Mac reaction, and and somebody he he was freestyling for said they were an inventor of a vibrator, and I didn't know what it was, and. I looked it up like in the middle of the reaction. Yeah, that happened. I've been jumping in mosh pits, more insects than flypaper. Pussy size of a skyscraper. She uses NASA space rockets as a vibrator. That's my word. The clip was the Titanic iceberg. So oh I licked God. it till it melted and the climax occurred. And the vaginal warts on the cunt started beatboxing. Ugh, fuck it, keeps the beat dropping. I'ma keep rocking. I make the cunt come fast. I piss nails and up truck glass. I toss the moon at the earth and make the sun crash. I drink cyanide milkshakes and I snort mustard gas. Fuck it, I rocks it the cunt and then I suck the slug. Says nine months later, the oh, no. <laughs> so not only was her vagina just beatboxing now, but R.H. just admits he eats ass. <laughs> Why did that actually become cool? Why did this year did that start becoming cool? Like it's been a thing forever but why is that all of a sudden became cool like out of nowhere like people people my age really be bragging about that and it's like what y'all some freaks man <laughs> all right you a freak for real now Shook in the bedroom collapse. She gave birth a pterodactyl egg fell out of a snatch And when it hatched the dinosaur baby started kicking raps The pussy spit out turntables and the baby began to scratch Go Baby T-Rex is scratching us The dirty dick derelict Foul mouth red Hey let me show y'all something because he because he mentioned like she had a T Rex egg come out of her poop nanny. Let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. So this isn't necessarily a T Rex or an egg, but um, when we moved here, uh, my grandma still had this because this is her house. She had this in the cabinet, and uh, basically this is an emu egg from the people who live right in front of us. My grandma's old neighbors, our neighbors now. Apparently, one of the emos that they used to have <coughs> laid this egg in my grandma's yard, and she just decided to hold it. And this was, like, before even my parents were born. So this egg is essentially, like, over 40, 41 years old, you know? So, and I just kept it because when we were cleaning stuff out of my grandma's house, um, I found it, and I was like, we can't just throw this away, because... Because my mom was also like, we can't, we really can't, like, crack it. Because if this thing gets cracked, 
apparently, like, it will smell so bad. Like, it will take, like, a month to get rid of the stench. Like, that's for real. I believe it, because, like I said, this thing's over... It's guaranteed over 40 years old. So I kind of just keep... I just kind of keep it on display over here. Y'all can't... Y'all can't see it because of the face cam. But I have a shelf right there where the m ms guy stands. And it's just kind of there. You know what I mean? So, I just want to... I just thought that was a cool thing to talk about. Um, since he mentioned this woman having T-Rex egg. Frederick, welcome to my world, bitch. Bitch. Every chick that I stick, the bottom of the slime pit. Welcome to my world, bitch. The war dog won't be dick. Quick to stick a ugly chick. Welcome to my world, bitch. Bitch. Finger fuck a feminist. These cum shots never miss. Welcome to my world, bitch. See you again. Ooh, suspense. I believe that was it. I believe that was it right there. But yo, so that one was a fun track, and I and I can respect Ra actually on that instrumental. Now that I know, basically the the direction he went with that track, you know. And, like I said, it stays in context of the album because something that bizarre is something you don't hear rappers, like, doing anymore. Like, what other rapper is coming up with something as sick and twisted as R.A. just did on that song? Specifically, that second verse. That second verse was, like, so stupid funny. Like, and it was still lyrical. Like, who else is doing that? Who else is really doing that in hip hop right now? No one. Nowadays we get certified lover boys. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, hey man, that was a fun track to listen to. You know, it really was. I really enjoy reacting to RA man. And y'all guys always love to see the video, so I appreciate all the love and support y'all showing them. If you guys want more from the Rogan Man, y'all know what to do by this point. Hit that like button, subscribe, channel, renew, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Share your thoughts and opinions about the track and the reaction. Now, um, share this with more people. Like I said, I appreciate all the love and support y'all show. But let's try to get to that 1K mark before the end of the year. Really appreciate the y'all's guys' support on these videos. Um, turn on that bell to get notified when you're when I react to your favorite artists. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.